CNN former Parliament Speaker Nancy Pelosi faced criticism after claiming that some pro-Palestinian protesters are linked to Russia. We should think what we are doing and what we need to try to stop the pain in Gaza. But for them call the ceasefire. Mr. Putin's message. CNCNN said, the situation is unlikely. Russian President Vladimir Putin referring to Nected. Comments interrupted the activities of pro-Palestinian protesters who demanded a ceasefire during the Israeli-Hamas war in Gaza and continuously interrupted Pelosi's latest event in Seattle. I think some of these protesters are spontaneously organic and sincere. When some pro-Palestinian protests think that Russian plants were asked, California replied, or um, I don't think they are plants. I think some financing should be investigated. Pell Pelosi said, and I want FBI to investigate it. Nihad Awad, president of the American Islamic Relations Council, was rapidly criticized by Nihad Awad who said that organization was deeply uncomfortable and seeks Pelosi's proposal that FBI's protests were investigating outright authoritarian. We are deeply uncomfortable with the interpretations of the former parliamentary speaker Pelosi. The claim that some Americans who protested a Gaza ceasefire are working with Vladimir Putin is delusional and the call FBI to these protesters' research. The Pelosi spokesman told CNN that former speaker supported and defended right to protest peaceful protest, but accepted history of xenophobia involved in American politics to influence elections. Speaker Pelosi has always supported and defended the right to declare all the Americans through peaceful protests. The Speaker Pelosi, who has been informed for 30 years at the Intelligence Committee, is aware of how foreign opponents are involved in our choices and wants to see more investigations. Before the 2024 elections, said, there no evidence that Russia is linked to pro-Palestinian protests. But it known that Russia and Russian-backed assets are involved in U.S. politics to influence the results of bread and election. A report published by U.S. Intelligence Group March 2021 described how the Russian government was involved in 2020 elections refers to a major disinformation pressure and detail how it affects former President Donald Trump support. It is known that Russian troll farms such as the Internet Research Agency use social media to exploit problems such as vaccine mask duties and to spread the wrong information encourage division of U.S. politics. Avery Lotz from CNN. Haley Talbot and Diane Gallagher contributed to this report.